What's going on guys? So today's video, I got a guest, so y'all know who this is. But to find out our thoughts on Trastari, a way for him, stay tuned and watch. So this is the first time you're coming across this beautiful, bold, sexy battery. You like this type of content? Sometimes I get smooth players, such as this guy, as guests. And you like a channel that's lighthearted and actually someone who takes shots to himself and really does not take himself too seriously. Then why don't you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Before we get into the actual review, why don't you slap a like on this video, show YouTube and myself that you like this type of content. So, Trostari away for him. Now, I am definitely getting into this house because of Chris from the channel Setland. Now, you have the test strip of this one? Yeah, I've got spray on it. All right, so this scent was actually launched in 2014. It's class as an oriental woody. Now, before I get into the notes, Rob, what do you get out of this one? Um, I'm gonna get like a fresh, it's like kind of a typical fresh scent. Some, yeah. Something not like, I mean, it does well here. We're in San Diego, by the way, if you guys are wondering why we're in a hotel room. <laughs> but um, he's out here visiting, so I had to stop by and say what's up to my man, Chad. Um, so of course we're testing out some fragrances. But um, this one right here, I get, um, it reminds me, I just did a top 10 of uh, cheapy fragrances. And okay. I had Lacoste Red, somebody told me um, it was called uh, Way of Life or something like that. But anyway, but Lacoste Red has an apple note in it that smells similar to this. So this has like a, like a, a, a red apple note, uh, kind of fresh bergamot. Um, smells like maybe some vanilla in here. Oh, okay, you got yeah. a couple notes, but the, the apple is a different color. So it's green apple? That is oh, it. All right, so, so it's green apple with that vanilla. It's something sweet. It's something sweet on it. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. So I'll just get into the notes. So the top notes of this one are grapefruit, lemon, and bergamot with the mid and sea notes and green apple. And the base is white wood, patchouli, and vanilla. I don't even so, know what white wood is. So. Yeah, I don't know what white wood is. Somebody, I, saw, I recently did a video. Well, they need to talk about notes. So if you know what white wood is, leave it in the comments. Yeah. I don't know what white wood is. Neither one of us know what white wood is. But yeah, yeah so that, that it has that, that, um, Kind of zesty apple, and I think with that, with the vanilla, is what's giving it that yeah. sweetness. You know, this right? really is fresh. It's fruity. It's you definitely get the vanilla. And aquatic, like the aquatic notes. Yeah, you know. it's very aromatic, and the performance on this is nuts. Oh, serious? I got ten hours, and like ten hours on average, normally eight to ten hours, and projection was quite monstrous. So, how much uh, does something like this cost? Well, the price for this one is actually $35 USD online. Oh, so that would be about uh, $50 Canadian. So this one really is not popular. Most of the people, when they talk about Trostari, they'll talk about the Womo mm -hmm. or the Riposo. So um, I really started getting into this brand because of Chris from Santland. So mm -hmm. I really want to talk about this one because you're all about depending on what the ladies say. Yeah, this definitely is a freshie for the ladies. You're gonna get compliments with this. I find that this this definitely does have a, uh, some sex appeal to it. It has a very playful nature, and that's the reason why I wanted to do this one with you, because yeah. I knew for a fact that you would not have smelled this one. No, definitely. definitely. Trastari is definitely a very underrated house. If you were to wear this one, when would you wear it? Definitely in the summertime um, day. I, yeah. I could probably pull this off at night though. Like a yeah. summer night, okay. I could probably put it off. But obviously, this is the safer office. Um, definitely daytime, summertime, spring. But it has something to it, even though it's aquatic and it has the sea notes and, and, and the apple. I, I probably can pull this off in fall. I think I think early well, fall I might be able to pull this in off. In sunny California, absolutely. But uh, yeah, not not no cold winters. But <laughs> no. You know about? But like early in Toronto, fall. this is more of a spring and yeah, summer definitely. type of scent. I would say work, school, but when it comes to work, I would say something like Foot Locker. I wouldn't use this in a professional uh, environment, like, a, like an office setting, but definitely a night out. It's a casual type of set that I think that this would be great for mm -hmm. going out as well. Wife saw some smell, she says it's sweet, fresh, and she likes it quite a bit. She says it's more of a fun type of scent. Definitely, a lot of people like this. You can't, this is not offensive at all. Um, some may call it generic um, for some reason. Yeah. Good smelling fragrances for some reason, everybody say generic, but I like them. Um, Same here. Yeah, and this definitely smells good to me. So if you were to give a, so any uh, final thoughts on this one? Um, definitely good for the price, and if you say it performs well, then I mean, you're getting your money worth for 30 bucks, and it has a pleasant smell. Um, and if it lasts all day for a freshie or aquatic, that, that's good. And less is more when it comes to the applications. I did mm -hmm. up to five sprays and even for me that was a little bit too much. So my final take on this one, really do like it. It is underrated. I think that people should check out the House of Tostadi. 
they're more popular in Europe than they are in North America. But uh, th again, Chris, thank you very much for putting me on to this brand. Chris, I don't think has talked about this uh, this scent, but so he talked I, about other fragrances from the house. Yeah. Oh. So uh, Chris did review this one on Fragrantica though, like years ago when it okay. first first came out. But I personally do like it. I think it's more of a younger man's fragrance though. For you know, I'm 42. I don't know how old you are. I'm 41, so I'm right behind. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> but I do find that this is more suited for a younger guy. So if you were to give this a rating out of five, what would you give give it though? Uh, out of five? Yeah. I'd probably give it three and a half. Okay. I think I think because it, it depends. I think most most people will like this. Um, but if you're like one of you know extreme hobbyists and like you like you wearing you get into the niche and the indie stuff, you might frown on this. But I've always wore everything, no matter. I got I got niche and I got ten dollar fragrances. So for me, a person like me, this definitely can be a rota rotation in my collection. And I would say three and a half as well. So mm -hmm. that's it. Yep. All right, guys. So that's our take of Trutsari, a way for him. So I'm gonna attach Chris's channel down below, but especially this man right here. So if you haven't checked him out, please do so. Yep. Rob, thank you very much for doing no the video. Problem. All right, so guys, that is our take of this of Trutsari, a way for him. So guys, we thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.